data recognize that the actions that we take impact many other uh, organisms on the planet. <laughs> March 3rd marks World Wildlife Day, and this UBC zoologist says it's important we understand how climate change is impacting the survival of some animals. We share this planet with so many other species um, that are experiencing the same kind of environmental changes that we are. Humans are increasingly engage in all sorts of activities that are having negative impacts on other species. She says excessive rainfall, droughts and heat waves can change the availability of food. Animals are trying to seek out areas where they can make a living, uh, areas with more comfortable climates, with the food that they rely on. And as they're moving around, they're increasingly coming into contact with people. And here at the Vancouver Aquarium, four African penguins, a type of penguin that doesn't live in the snow, and they're at risk. So these guys are an endangered species. Um, a lot of that has to do with human interactions, um, fishing, overfishing, uh, depleting their natural food resources. We are competing with the African penguins for their food source. Uh, so that can be really depleting their food source and causing them not to be able to find the nutrients that they need. And the aquarium says it's important humans do their part to help. Eating sustainable, so sustainable seafood, um, making sure that you are uh, not using a lot of you know, plastic, single-use plastic, something as simple as bringing your own reusable coffee mug to work in the morning or you know, to your local coffee shop instead of using the disposable ones is a really simple way that you guys can have an impact. So normally they'd be eating krill, but with the changing temperatures, they were feeding more on anchovy. Dr. Gaynor's research includes humpback whales in the Pacific Ocean, their behavior and changing food source, which is now closer to shore. Um, now at the same time, those changing temperatures also led to changes, changing conditions in the fisheries. In this particular incident, we had a lot of whales struck by fishing vessels, uh, which is a, is a major cause of whale mortality. Dr. Gaynor says as humans and wildlife coexist, animals may look for food provided by humans. Whether it is our trash, um, which we all know, you know, the, the raccoons of Vancouver love to find, um, whether it's uh, crops that we're planting or livestock that we're, we're grazing. So animals, very understandably, will seek them out, and that often creates some conflict with people. In Vancouver, Angela Bauer, City News.